Um, the handles, handle thickness is probably a little bit thicker on the small fly, surprisingly on camera and just seeing it with the naked eye. Uh, the small fly actually looks quite a bit thicker. If we put them right on top of each other, um, and you know what, let's close these for a sec. They are super, super minimally different. Um, it, you actually, I don't know, I can't even tell really which one is thicker, but uh, unfortunately I do not have the specs on the small fly, but the 32 is 0 0.44 inches thick. I'm guessing the small fly is a hair thicker, but um, more on the look of the side of the handles. Small fly, I really like the way it's designed here because we have uh, the horns on the tang end of the blade, which I love about Bally songs, is those natural horns um, help with a thumb ramp and a finger choil. And on the small fly, we have jimping on both sides. Um, it's super comfortable to hold. Um, if you really had to say uh, which one is easier to hold, it is that one. It's more comfortable. But on the 32, if you're really in hard use, your thumb is going to stay here a little bit easier than the small fly since um, the little horn there is a little bit more defined. It's going to keep your finger there. But the small fly, both with the handle design and uh, the little natural thumb ramp there, it is a lot more comfortable. Like I said, with the handle design, it's also more comfortable as well just because of those ergonomics that uh, it naturally creates. Very comfortable, very cool. Also, with the G10 on both knives, you're going to look at uh, a little bit more of an easy grip on the small fly since it is a checkered design. Get a little bit closer look on both of those, whereas the 32 is just smooth. And despite those little dimples on it, um, that is not actually texturing, it's just completely smooth. Um, so, you're going to have a little bit of an easier time gripping onto that uh, small fly compared to the 32. Um, Going down more on the handles even, we have a skeletonized G10 overlay on a metal liner. Liners on the small fly are stainless steel. It's going to add a little bit more weight, maybe not super good for EDC, but you're only looking at 3.2 um, ounces, which is actually 0.1 of an ounce, uh, smaller than the 51. 32, you're looking at um, 2.7 ounces. So 32 might be a little bit lighter but this is going to be a better flipper, easier to open definitely as well. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Also with our spacers, uh, we have a stainless steel spacer, also again going to add weight um, compared to the titanium spacer on the 32. So that's going to give a little bit more balance towards the bottom of the handles on the small fly compared to the 32. One thing I really like about the 32 actually compared to the 51 is that uh, if you actually have a close look, these spacers are the same size both on the 32 and the 51. And I mentioned this in my re review on the 32, that um, per its size, the 32 pound for pound is actually probably a better flipper than the 51 since it would actually be a little bit more balanced since the spacers are the same size. But um, comparing these two, obviously this one's a little bit better. A little bit more weight, a little bit more balance. Um, Along with the ergonomics and EDC side of things, and flippability, I guess, is these Spyderco trademark holes. Um, I love how it's not a folder, so they couldn't get it on the blade, so they put them in the handles. But instead of doing a, a latch drop like you would on maybe a 32 or a 42 or anything like that, um, it's a lot easier. Just pop, pop your, uh, your fingers in those holes and you can open that super quick and uh, it's absolutely amazing, really comfortable, really fast um, and uh, easy deployment so I really like those holes um, and speaking of holes let's have a closer look at skeletonization I think I actually started with talking about that, didn't quite get to it um, on both of them you have a more rectangular skeletonization whereas the uh, more typical ballast songs will have kind of a, a, a pattern of holes these both kind of have a rectangular pattern um, small fly you can see that the uh, sorry what do you call it the liners do not go along those holes whereas the 32's does both provide a little bit extra grip um, not too much don't provide much weight decrease either just mostly uh, aesthetic type of thing um, so let's look have a have a look at the pocket clips like I said earlier I do not have the pocket clip with me for the small fly it's upstairs 
But uh, I like the small fly's pocket clip better, and there's another reason why I kind of like the small fly better than the 32. But the reason why I like the pocket clip on the small fly better is because you can put it on both handles, both sides, as you can see there. And it is a wire clip. I love the wire clip. Maybe that looks a little bit better, but uh, wire clip does an amazing job. Ultra lightweight, and uh, it does look awesome. But uh, it does come on the bite handle on the right side. You can obviously put it on the safe handle, um, safe handle left side, bite handle left side as well. Uh, 32, you can only put it on the bite handle on either side. Unfortunately, with the 32, it's pretty much impossible to take off. I do have a tutorial on taking off the pocket clip, but uh, if you're wanting to take it off, um, when you do, these pins are going to be too long for the handles, so your G10 might kind of come up and down. So you actually need to grind down the pins so that they sit flush with the handles um, if you take the pocket clip off. So in that sense, the small fly is designed a lot better for that. Um, so pocket clip, definitely better on the small fly. Let's have a look at the latch, then hopefully we'll kind of finish this up since we're at a really long time here. Um, so latch on the small fly. For legality reasons, I think in Colorado where this was made, most uh, spider codes were made overseas. This one is made in USA. Um, as you can see here, I believe USA, Earth, <laughs> I love how they say that, in Golden, Colorado. But uh, because I think of legality issues in that state, I don't think they're allowed to latch it open, which to me is really not a huge deal. It latches perfectly closed. You can see there is a little groove cut out in the liners and the G10 remains kind of flush with the whole design but uh, it lands in that little groove and then like all spring latches use a little bit of pressure and it releases it'll always stay here it's not as strong as maybe a 42's pocket or sorry spring um, but it does the job it doesn't really wiggle around too much either when flipping um, and it's it's never gonna come over here either. It's never happened. Uh, maybe if you drop it, but uh, great design. And uh, like I mentioned, I really don't think you need it to latch in the open position. I can't carry balisongs where I live, so it's not a huge deal for me, obviously. But even if I were to use this around the house, there's no way I would latch it anyway. I've used other balisongs around the house. I don't latch it open when I use it. Um, your hand provides the natural. Uh, lock for the blade and when you're done you can simply close it so for me even if I could carry it there's no way I would latch it but uh, if that is something you enjoy or would like the 32 is amazing for that and I don't want to get into the whole um, science of how this uh, spring latch works because it's pretty um, it's pretty cool it's pretty innovative like I mentioned in my 32 review if you want to know a little bit more about that check out the 32 review but the reason why I really like this latch in the open position is if you do decide to latch it up, it would be beneficial in a hard use situation if you're using it for a long time. But if you do decide to latch it up, check out this. If I squeeze it, and you can see the handles are coming off the latch, it does not pop open. So in the open position, it is not a spring latch, which I think is amazing because for all you 42 owners or 4X owners out there, you know that if you ever actually have to use your blade, the second you go to use it, if you've used your 42, like flipped it a little bit, um, that latch pops out right away because the handles have, over time, come a little bit closer together and that latch barely stays in there. Um, so if you squeeze it, it'll stay in there, which is absolutely awesome for use. And obviously if it's in the closed position, it'll pop open. So that's absolutely sick. I think latching system on the 32 is better, but... Uh, Small fly, definitely nothing at all to complain about. So you know what, guys? I think that's my review. I don't know what time we're at because I've cut it a few times, I think. So I think we're probably at close to 25 minutes. So I think I'll end it there. Overall, small fly, definitely my favorite compared to the 32. My favorite 3-inch bally, one of my only two 3-inch ballies. So i uh, love to get my hands on maybe another one. Some uh, bally ballistic ones look sick. Maybe I can get one of those someday. But there you have it, there's my comparison on the two knives. And, you know what, although I do like the small fly a little bit better, the 32 comes very, very shortly behind. So, two sick knives, I recommend both of them, 
even if you have one of them, pick up the other one. They're sick, especially because that small fly is limited time right now. Definitely check them out. Pick one up. Awesome knives. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope this was worth your time, and uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions, and I'll answer those as fast as I can. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.